How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and in this video we are going to be getting started with using arguments. So this is going to be another really quick video. So right now before you guys do anything leave a leave a like, leave a comment, whatever you want to comment. You know what? Leave a comment saying uh, your favorite animal. That way I know you guys have made it at least 30 seconds into this video. <laughs> So this is actually super easy and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be actually adding in another thing here to make sure that we are not reading any messages that are from the bot. So let's go ahead and get rid of all of this here. We'll keep this first one because it's fine. And then what we want to go ahead and say is up here, we're going to go ahead and say if message does not start with, if the content does not start with our prefix which we have defined up here. So we can actually go ahead and just say, uh, we can just say prefix here, or our message dot the author is a bot. And if it is, we are just going to go ahead and return. So basically what that's saying is if our message does not start with our prefix, which we have defined in our config, then we wanna go ahead and return. Or if the message is from the bot, we want to go ahead and return, right? Pretty easy. I think so. Okay. So now the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and create our args and our command, right? So let's go ahead and say const args equals message dot content dot slice. And we'll say prefix dot length. And we're gonna do a better way for this, so don't worry. We're just gonna do this to start off with because it's really easy. And then we'll do split. Oh, forgot to add the parentheses. And then we'll say split. And then what we'll have the split be is just a, a space. So it's gonna split our command after every space, right? Those are gonna be the arguments. Every space is an argument. So now let's go ahead and say const command which is going to be args dot shift and we'll say two lower case. Oh, I forgot to add an equal sign there. I was like, why is that not working? All right, so args dot shift. Okay, so now the next thing we can do is let's just go ahead and get rid of this. So we can say if command dot equals and let's just say our command is um, hello we'll just keep it really simple and we can say if args dot length and we'll say if not so we're basically saying if there's no args then we want to go ahead and return by sending a message to the channel so message channel send and we'll say you have not input any arguments. And we'll just change this to, uh, we'll have the commands be args, just so it makes sense. Dollar sign, message dot author, exclamation point. We'll end that off. And let's change this to single quotes, I always do this. And now what we'll do, so if there is args, doesn't matter how many yet, we're gonna go ahead and say message dot channel dot send, and then we'll say command name. And this is just going to be dollar sign, squiggly bracket. We'll say command. And then we'll do a backslash n, which will give us a new line. And we'll say arguments. Oh, I literally spelled that right. Arguments, doubted myself. And we'll add a space. And we'll say dollar sign, squiggly bracket, args. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this command. So we actually get an error. Okay, so we had a really simple error. I had a lowercase l in here and it was supposed to be an uppercase l. So let's just go ahead and close our bot. Let's restart our bot. And let's go ahead and say args. And now we'll see here, you have not input any arguments. Great, so now if we go ahead and say args, and let's just say hi, bye, test, cat 
we can see here that it separates these arguments with a comma. But the problem that we have is with our current split is it does it by space, right? So we can say hi, space, 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 by. And now you can see here that we have a bunch of commas in between here because it thinks all of those spaces are an argument. So how do we rectify this? Well, it's actually super, super easy. All we can, all we have to do is just do a little bit of regular expression or what's known as rejects. And we can go ahead and really, uh, really easily fix this. So all we're going to do inside of our split here is we're going to change this to a Oh, sorry, forward slash space plus, oops, just plus forward slash. So now if we go ahead and check this out and let's just close our bot, restart it. And now if we go ahead and say args, hi, space, 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 by, you can see here that it only shows two of our arguments. So that's a really quick way, or that's the best way so far that I have found to go ahead and split your arguments. So now there is one more thing that goes along with, with arguments and that is, well, two things, mentioning people and getting specific args. So you could have a command that's like, you know, exclamation point ban somebody, right? So you need to make sure that the second or the first argument really is um, a person's name. But in this case, we'll just do it something really simply and we'll say else if args and we'll put a square bracket and we'll say zero equals and we'll say we'll just say cat just to make it simple. Let's just bring this up here. So we'll say if it equals cat, we will go ahead and say return message.channel.send. And we will just go ahead and say meow because that's what cats do. Okay. And so now, so everything starts with zero. I think I talked about this before. So anything that's like an array or a list or a set, anything like that, whenever it's referring to links, it always starts at zero. All right, so let's close our bot, let's reopen it. And so now if we go here and we say args cat, our bot says meow. So, but now if we say args dog, it just goes back to what it was before. Okay, so one last thing for this video, I'm trying to keep this video short, is we're just gonna go ahead and add in a tagged user. Really simple, like super, super simple. So all we have to do for this is let's just skip down here and let's just say else if command equals um, ban. We'll just say ban. Uh, we're not actually gonna set up a ban command yet. We'll do that in a later video. So if command equals ban, all we have to say is const tagged user equals message dot mentions dot users dot first. So this is going to grab the first mentioned user, right? And so now what we can say is message dot channel dot send. And we'll say you want to ban. And then we'll just say dollar sign squiggly bracket tagged user dot username. And then we'll just return because, well, we don't need to go beyond that. Okay, so let's go ahead and restart our bot. Let's open Discord. So now if we go ahead and say args, just to make sure our basic args work, no, no inputs. And then let's just go ahead and add myself. So args, oh, sorry. Right, we have, it's a different command. So this is going to be, oh, I see what I did here. So we actually wanna pull this out and we want to put this after args because we're doing a separate command here. So if the command is different. Uh, OK, so let's just restart our bot quickly. And now let's say ban. And we'll say Deshaun. And so you want to ban Deshaun. OK, 
So that is all I got for you guys. Uh, I am not 100% sure what we're going to be doing in the next video, but whatever the next video is, it'll be posted very soon. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.